Welcome to a new Save a Jazz podcast and this time around I want to compare is uh, Android really faster than uh, Save a Jazz by just comparing uh, the two devices side by side in day-to-day -day usage. As you can see I have on my left my Sony Xperia um, XA2 device running Save a Jazz uh, 3 to 1 and on the right I have um, my a Huawei P30 device running Android 10 and I want to compare the speed in everyday usage so I have uh, a scenario that I created and I want to run through both of those devices and I want to show you if it's possible to compete with Android in day-to-day -day tasks and I think you will be quite surprised how Savage AS will handle this in this uh, video. So the tasks are the following. First of all, it has something to do with opening up um, a web browser and then uh, copying a link and putting this link into uh, a quick note. And let's first start with unlocking the devices with fingerprint here. You can see Android is a bit faster. Starting the browser and go navigating to the website. You can see, yeah, maybe slightly uh, a bit faster on Savage OS, but this is by pure luck, I think. And uh, copying the link was a bit faster on Android, uh, was a bit faster on Savage OS than on Android, because on Android I had problems with uh, getting the dialog up. Then I can use a quick menu for writing notes, and in Android I have to go to the Memos app. And it's good I don't have to go to the home directory to open up new apps. I'm already in the mm, play something on YouTube um, category on Sailfish, as you can see. And on Android, yeah, now I'm starting uh, the YouTube app. And uh, yeah, YouTube playback is a bit longer. It takes a while for getting the stream and playing it back. But as you can hear, now it's working on Sailfish already. And I have some advertisements on the Android version that I want to skip to watch the video. And now the video is playing, I can pause it on Android as well. I'm reading my Twitter feed, which is handily already integrated into the operating system. And I can also read uh, the weather conditions, which is also handily um, integrated into the operating system as well. And uh, yeah, taking a selfie on Selfish OS. Um, opening up Twitter on Android. Um, of course, there are of course widgets that you can put on the desktop eventually to see the Android tweets, but they behave differently than the fully integrated SafeJS version. And uh, yeah, lastly on SafeJS, I'm trying to update my system, my applications, and on Android, I'm taking a look at the weather. You can see that SafeJS is quite a bit faster here in the everyday tasks due to the swipe gestures that you have and due to, to good integration of systems. As you can see here, it took me two minutes and four seconds to get through this routine. And on Android, I'm still uh, yeah, taking a look at uh, updates. And so, yeah, also finished now. So let's say 2.20, maybe 2.30 uh, until it starts really downloading updates and uh, this is what android does so overall i would say we can see that in everyday tasks safe has an advantage when it comes to using swipe gestures on the system and android is a little bit behind even though android performs better when it comes to opening apps they are much quicker open than on selfish as usually it is uh, that the swipe gestures and the whole integration into the system really can do uh, much and provide a faster user experience.